Hey everybody, so today I want to take a look at doing a real simple pseudocode where we're going to take in two values and determine if the first number is larger or not. That's right, we're going to be making a decision, kind of like what we did in a flow chart, except we're going to do it in pseudocode and we're going to see how they're similar and different. Now remember, there are no real hard fast rules in pseudocode, so this is just a suggestion. It's a strong suggestion based upon a lot of experience, but it is just a suggestion or guideline if you would. Let's take a look at how we're going to do this. I've already got some values here where I've got num1, num2. I've asked people to enter in some values for them. So I'm going to go in here and make a quick decision. Now, one of the things I like to do is I like to kind of separate out my logic. And so where I define and get my values, I'm going to do that. I'm going to then put a blank line. This just makes it easier to read. That's all it's there for. Now I'm going to say if num1 is greater than num2, then. Okay, so if this condition is true, then we're going to do something. And just like in our flowchart decisions, our conditions need to be a yes, no, or a true false type of value. We refer to these as Boolean values. Then what I'm going to do is if it is true, I'm going to go to a new line and I'm going to hit the tab key. This idea is just pushing things in and anything that's inside that tab space is part of that condition. So I'm going to write print number one is bigger. Kind of like that. Okay, so it just lets me know, hey, this is how I'm going to handle this. Took those values, did a condition, pray num1 is bigger. Now, I'm going to end my application at this point. I'm not going to do anything else. So this is where sometimes having that end program or end app or just end is helpful because otherwise I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to go right here, once again, give myself a blank line and just say end just so it's super clear. Remember, the whole goal of pseudocode is to write clear steps. And this just makes sure that people don't go, wait a second, is there anything else? We were inside this if statement. Nope, we have it like this. So just a real quick way to do a simple conditional statement with pseudocode. We ask our Boolean question, get a yes, no type of answer. And then if it's true, we do it. Next up, we're gonna look to see what happens if it's not true, that is, it was false, and how we're going to handle that. So stay tuned for that video.